This is a story that you'll see only on two tonight. Hello, everyone. I'm Chris Gutierrez. And I'm Lauren Freeman. Tonight, we learn about the robbery and the young suspect who is considered dangerous. Mm -hmm. Channel 2 senior reporter Phil Archer is live in Mission Bend with the latest now from investigators. Phil? Yeah, it's the holiday season, and we've already seen porch pirates get a lot more active in just the last couple of weeks, stealing packages individually from front doors. But this group of alleged thieves decided to cut out the middleman and go straight to the source and take off with an entire Amazon truck. The robbery happened well before the holiday rush heated up. Back in September, an Amazon driver making deliveries at the Sunset Crossing Apartments at Beech Nut and Wheelcrest turned around to see a man pointing a gun at him. One of the defendants walked up to him with a pistol, jacked him basically, drug him out of the car, out of the van, stole the van. The other, the other defendant followed them out and they drove to one of their apartments and began offloading all the, all the packages and kept what they wanted and threw the rest in the dumpster. The man with the gun identified as 22-year-old Diedrich Jacobs. Jacobs admitted stealing the packages. According to police, he was arrested on the spot. But another suspect, 18-year-old Jalen Knox, got away. A month later, Knox was arrested for robbing a convenience store in Pasadena. And while still not identified in the Amazon robbery, he was released on bond, which was eventually revoked. Knox remains at large, considered armed and dangerous. And police warn as we move into the holidays to expect package thefts and robberies to increase. Wherever you're going to go, be aware that there is a segment of our population that's going to prey on those that aren't self-aware, that aren't looking out for their surroundings, that aren't making sure they're not being followed home. Meantime, the hunt for Jalen Knox continues. Anyone with information asked to call Houston Crime Stoppers. They're offering a reward of up to $5,000. Reporting live in southwest Houston, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.